Hi, I'm Perry from Mesa Digital Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to edit the menu section of your WordPress website. Okay, I just want to show you what we're talking about first of all. This is the menu area, the main navigation for the sample website. Um, if we click on one of the options, you'll notice for this particular theme that it highlights the active page or the page you're on. Um, it's going to be kind of different for each theme, but in this case, we're just going to show you how to edit the options that appear here. So we're just on a static post that we've been messing around and playing with. Now, you'll want to go to Appearance and then Menus. If you don't see it underneath, you'll be hovering over it and it'll appear on the side. Okay, so in the Appearance options, um, you're going to have different options for different menus. So you can have a place for a menu at the top and then in your footer. So that's why that you can, that'd be one of the uses for a menu. You could even put one in a sidebar. Um, you can create your own by just clicking the create a new menu button. In this case, we're going to stick to the top navigation and just show you how to add a few different uh, parts to it. So we can see that the pages is usually open by default. If it's not, just click on it to open it up. There's also the option for posts. So let's say in this example, we want our top new posts to be displayed um, underneath our blog page. So I just checked the box. You can add multiple if you want. We're just going to hit one, add to menu. And by default, if I saved it as is, it will just show this uh, new post as a three, three words to the right of contact. And that's not what we want. So I'll just refresh this page and show you. Um, it added it to the top nav navigation as its own page, but I want it to show underneath blog. Okay, so back to menu. I'm going to click and drag that page or post underneath our blog page. Now I'm going to go ahead and save the menu and refresh the page. Okay, it's gone out of the top navigation and now it's underneath the blog and that will show up even when you scroll down. All right, so that's one useful feature of the menu is adding posts. Pages are a very similar idea if I want to have my sample page show up, but <clears throat> let's say we want that after the contact page, but I don't want it to say two words because everything else is one word. We'll just call it sample and we can save that. Even changing the title, it will still keep the page and the page title will still stay sample page. Okay, so after contact is sample. I click on sample. See the title stays the same, but now <clears throat> we have sample as my menu item. All right, the other great thing that you're probably going to use a lot is the custom links. So um, maybe you want to link to an app or you want to link to another a page um, or your, you can do Facebook. You can do anything here, right? You can just put the URL in this place. So let's say we want to link to this blog post for my Mesa Digital Marketing website. I'm going to put that entire link in and just say MDM, Mesa Digital Marketing. Add to menu. And now we'll save it. So this is a great way to link to uh, maybe another one of your websites or a partner website you have, affiliate website. Refresh the page and now it's after sample. Um, I'm just going to click on MDM. It'll take me out of my web this sample website and into the Mesa Digital Marketing post that I selected. So that is just a quick overview of the menu and how to apply it to your WordPress website. Hopefully that's helpful to see where it's located, how to edit it. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you on the next videos.